All right. Shalom. Barakatah Yahweh. Barakatah Yahweh Shai. Barakatah Yahweh. Barakatah Yahweh Shai. Barakatah Yahweh. Barakatah Yahweh Shai. Bahashem Har Chakudash. Back again, giving double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, who rule well. And much peace and mercy to the hopeful elect, you brothers and you sisters, wholeheartedly waiting upon Yahweh to send his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, to deliver us from America, Babylon the Great. Our current captivity to you, I say Shalom. And this is going to be entitled, Keep This Truth in the Forefront of Your Mind. Right? And I'm going to start here, Baruch 2 and 30. It says, For I knew that they would not hear me because of this stiff necked people. But in the land of their captivities, they shall remember themselves and shall know that I am the Lord Yahweh, their, their power. For I will give them in heart and ears to hear. And they shall praise me in the land of their captivity and think upon my name. And this is something that we must constantly do. We must constantly think upon the name of the Heavenly Father, um, of his son, Yahweh Shai. Because those two names is, is going to bring us salvation. I'm going to jump here. Proverbs chapter 3 and verse 5. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart and lean not unto thy own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him and he shall direct thy paths. So we have to continue to, to put the Heavenly Father's um, um, will first. Not our own will. We, we, we we're, Don't be self-willed. You know, well, you know, I'm going to do this because I feel like it, because I want to. Right. Always meditate. What, what what the Lord want me to do? That's the spirit that David had. David always inquired of the Lord. Should I go out to this war? Should I go out to this battle? Right. What, what should I do next? He was always inquiring of the Lord and what it prospered him, man. The Heavenly Father. Told, oh, yeah. Go ahead. Go up against them. I'm a, I'm a utterly give them into your hand. Oh, no, don't do nothing because because I'm going to handle them. I got them. Don't worry about it. So we have to we have to put the Heavenly Father first, put this truth first and, and always walk in the spirit. As it says, in um, I think that's the book of Galatians. Right. Walk in the spirit, man, not in the flesh, because when you walk carnally, the scriptures say that uh, a carnal mind is enmity with the most high. You see. <clears throat> this is a rock 39 and 1 But he that giveth his mind to the law of the most high Wait let me read that again But he that giveth his mind to the law of the most high And is occupied in the meditation thereof Will seek out the wisdom of all the ancient And be occupied in prophecies You see So you have to give your mind to the law What does that mean? Keep the law, statutes, and commandments To the best of your ability Rehearsing the righteous acts. Now that doesn't mean we can keep the law to 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 the up T and there are certain things that we can't we can't keep in this captivity. But give your mind to the law. There you can still know it. You can still learn it. Oh yeah, nope. We're not supposed to do that. We're not supposed to do this. We're not. A man shouldn't wear a woman's garment. Neither shall a a, a woman wear uh, that which pertains to a man. Etc. Etc. And it says, and it's occupied in the meditation thereof. You have to meditate on these things, man. Meditate on the prophecies. Meditate on, on the history, on the wisdom, on the proverbs. And and when you meditate on these things, and when you when you allow these things to to become a part of you, then you can apply it to your life. And when you apply it to your life, now you're walking completely con uh, contrary to what's going on in the world. You see. Let me jump right here real quick. And these are all basic precepts, but the, the message still applies. Romans 12 and 2. And be not conformed to this world, but be, be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of the Most High. So don't be conformed to this world. This world wants you to smoke, uh, uh, do all types of different drugs. Commit all types of different uh, adultery with, uh, with men's women. They want you to forsake the most high, man. Man, hey, they want you to put, some, put a, uh, uh, a device up in, in your skin. Right? At, down the line, down the road. So don't be conformed to this world. Don't allow this world to, to 
uh, bewild you into, uh, oh, well, you know what? Maybe this is the arrest. All I got to do is save up enough money, get me a nice house and a car and uh, paint my fence white and get a dog. And Like, no, as Micah 2 and 10 says, that arise and depart for this is not your rest. We have to arise out of this place mentally, man. Right, get it out of the, get out of that westernized mindset. Right, you can't even be a man in this place. When whenever you whenever you be a man, pe- people want to test you. They want to uh, try to pull your card. Oh, you 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 not supposed to be. You don't tell me how I'm supposed to be. The scriptures say keep the law. the The whole duty of man is to keep the law. You see, if I'm not breaking no law, you can't tell me I'm not. What? And that's the whole premise. The whole premise of this place, so-called uh, 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 America, Babylon the Great, is 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 predominantly uh, uh, feminism and and Moism, man. And that's what they want. They want you to fall fall in, in, in either category. They want you to support women rights and, and feminism, or or be a damn mo, man. And we know what the scriptures say about that. This is Psalms chapter 52 and 9. I will praise thee forever because thou hast done it. And I will wait on thy name for it is good before thy saints. And the name of the Lord is good, man. You know it's good when, when brothers get together and we all chant. Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Rechak, Dash. And you hear that vibration go through the earth? The name of the Lord is, is good, man. When you when you when when you put when you emphasize the name of the Lord and you put passion behind His name and you just feel you feel it you feel His presence man you feel that you feel the vibration is is completely different man there's no no other vibration on this earth like it you see oh I got a precept Proverbs chapter eighteen and verse ten the name of the Lord Yahweh is a strong tower the righteous runneth into it. And it's safe. So the Heavenly Father's name is a tower, a defense. It's a, it's a, uh, it, it's a, 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 a tall wall that you can hide behind, man. Right? You call upon the name of the Lord, and you will be delivered. Ye men of Israel, hear these words. And if this word resonates with you, you're an Israelite, man. It don't matter what you look like. It don't matter if your your skin is is bright. It don't matter if your skin look so called white. It don't. The scriptures say the spirit bear witness with our spirit that we are the children of the most high. So if these words resonate with your spirit, then you're an Israelite, man. And Lord willing, you be of the elect and Lord willing, you be delivered. Because the elect is the only people of the nation of Israel that's going to be delivered from America, Babylon the Great. 12,000 from each nation, 144,000. And you got the one third. So keep this truth in your forefront mind. There is, like I said in the last video, there's nothing else, man. There is nothing else that 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 shall that shall hold, as they say in the world now. They got a little saying. This lives in my mind rent free. Let the truth live in your mind rent free. Rent free. Let the spirit dwell in you with, uh, rent free. So so. When, when it's time to, to to maneuver around these demons, maneuver around these wicked ass people, you know how to conduct yourself. I'm not going to move that way. I'm not going to move that way. I'm going to keep walking straight, as it says in the book of uh, Second Ezra, right? That that and, and, and Matthew entering in at the straight gate where because narrow is the way. Let me get, grab that real fast. Matthew, the seventh chapter. <clears throat> I think it's down here. Oh no, it's thirteen. It's a lot. Yep, Matthew seven and thirteen. Enter ye in at the straight gate. Straight is a position of difficulty, for wide is the gate and broad is the way that leadeth to destruction, and many there be which go in thereat. So all these people in the world, they're gonna be destroyed, man. Because what? They're walking right behind the image of the beast. 
Why? Because they want to fit in. They want to they want to be accepted. They like this place. Verse 14, because straight is the gate and narrow is the way which leadeth unto life and few be be that find it. So there's going to be very few men, women and children that find that straight gate. That's why when, when people mock, when people scoff, when they talk shit, hey, give all praises to the Heavenly Father. Because that's that's two to three less people who, who in the way to your salvation, man. The scriptures say, seek out your own salvation with fear and trembling. Don't think about these people, man. I'm learning that every day. These people ain't shit in this world, man. Fuck these people, man. Yahweh Shai said... Uh, uh, my brother and sister and mother is they that do the will of the heavenly father, man. These people ain't shit, man. All they care about is is folly and and, and uh, uh, abominable things, man. So keep this truth in the forefront of your mind. Meditate upon this daily. If you can, meditate upon this hourly, secondly. You know, constantly think upon the, the heavenly father's name. Hey, give all praises to his name in your head. If you at work, you ain't you ain't doing nothing. Pray to him. Dwadi Shimi Al Shah for for allowing me to have your name. For allowing me to call upon your name. Barakata Yahweh, Barakata Yahweh Shai. Bashim Harakodash. You know, pray to the Heavenly Father, man. Bless his name. Cause the Lord about to deliver us out of here in a very grand on a very grand scale, man. It's about to be the best, the biggest, and the most rewarding. Deliverance we ever had in, in, in on this on this planet Earth, man. We about to be lifted up like Yahweh Shai was lifted up, man. Lord willing, we be of that number. The elect is gonna be lifted up, man, and changed in the twinkling of an eye. You know how you know what kind of glory comes with that, man. A, a, a new body that 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 has uh, no sin, no blemish, no pains, no aches, no headaches. Meditate upon this thing, man. So, hey, I'm going to stop ranting. Lord willing, this was edifying, exhorting, and faith boosting. I want to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rechakodash, Shalom.